Hi, my name is Chris. I'm the founder of Geckopia. I've been raising leopard geckos probably close to four years now, and my main goal for this channel is to make this video valuable and exciting for any gecko parents out there who loves reptiles and sharing my experiences in the gecko world. Now, if you look at this amazing blood tangerines, this is something that I've worked for three years to get this result. So, ladies and gentlemen, in leopard geckos, there are so many different types of tangerines out there that we can choose to work with. Now, as a new owner of leopard gecko or who's just entering a new leopard gecko hobby, it is very hard to actually distinguish what the difference between all of them. But in this video, I'm going to share you guys one of my most favorite projects, which is blood tangerine projects, and tell you guys a little bit of my opinions, why I'm still working with blood tangerines and why I chose blood tangerine as my initial project when I first started my project. So before we dive in, in tangerine lines, there are so many different lines out there that are currently existing. The reason why there are so many different tangerine lines existing right now currently in the market is because there's a huge demand for the tangerine lines and that is the reason why you're seeing so many tangerine trades in the website or on the internet out there. Now, as a beginner, when I, I still remember when I first started looking into tangerine lines, it was really hard to distinguish the difference between another tangerine to another tangerine. And I know that feeling and, and sometimes photo can even make it more hard to distinguish from one to another. Now, overall, I ended up getting a blood tangerine for my initial project. And number one reason why I chose blood tangerine, it was because when I looked out whole different market out there, blood tangerines that I chose seems to have really good tails than what other uh, tangerines that was available in the market. So I basically went in and did more research about blood tangerines and it was actually found by JMG um, back in the day. Um, I don't know if they do still produce, um, with, which now it seems like they don't really work with the blood tangerine a lot than before. But back in the time when I was getting into tangerine projects, I chose blood tangerine for just one reason because of the character. A lot of tangerines that are available at that time had maybe about 25 or 15 percent, somewhere around there, carotel, which is still good carotels, but the ones that I saw had about 80 to 90 percent carotels, and sometimes I even saw 100 percent, oh, not 100, but 99 percent of carotels, and that just got my whole attention. And I, at that point, I just had to get them because. I just love caratels a lot. Now, the second reason why I chose blood tangerine is because of their colors. When I looked through all different type of photos that were available in social media or Google or YouTube, you name it, I pretty much research all over the places to see and compare the difference between other tangerines. But for the blood tangerines that I saw at that time, seems to have one of the closest saturations and the colors that I want, which it was more of a bright orange at that time. And when I first saw it, it just seems like a real orange to me. And I just immediately reserved them right on the spot. But obviously I did actually took a lot of time and did a lot of research into it. So I was aware and I knew what I was getting into at that time. Now, third reason why I chose blood tangerine is the single trait. If you look around the market, there are so many different tangerines out there that are paired with another tangerine, so another tangerine. Now, these are actually good ideas to actually pair different tangerines to different tangerines because that way, as a long term, you're preventing all these minor line breeding issues like short tail, big eyes, short nose, and other line breeding issues that often cause when you breed same group of family for years and years. Now, during that time, while I was doing research, I just wanted a single trait that are safe to work with 
mainly because that way I can actually track the long history of my whole entire project. Um, as a for, for an example, let's say if I'm pairing blood tension to albino or snow or WY, I can actually see the whole development, how this blood tension gets influenced when they're crossbred to other, other traits. But if there is mandarin tangerine, blood tangerine, or tornado, like all these things together, at that time, I thought that it wouldn't really be easy to see and observe what kind of tangerine trait has caused it to make it more red or make it more bright. That was what I was concerning at that time, the most of the time, and obviously I was new. But keeping a single trait seems always simple to track and I feel like it will be one of the rarest thing to do so um, because I always like to do something that I love but at the same time be a little different than what other people are doing and having tangents with the one single trait was one of the things that I wanted to do so I started choosing blood tangents as my first initial project. It's still doing amazing till this year and we are actually crossbreeding them this year with another male group from another breeder so we're gonna keep it diversified but i just always like to keep it simple and one trade with the tangent if possible now if there's another tangent that i like in the future i will try to get the one trade tangents and probably work with them just with this one trade as well sometimes i will cross to another tangent but if I have an option to actually keep it one single trait, that's something that I'm always interested in doing. And that's why a lot of people like getting blood tangent from us um, prior to the past and still today. And then number four, this is something that I already mentioned previously, but there are so many opportunities that you can do with the blood tangent. You can pair it to albino, you can pair it to snow, you can pair it to WI, any other things are available out there. Make sure when you are doing that, you, you want to make sure that if your tangent has any albino in them. Um, sometimes even if you get single traits, there are some tangerines that might have like possible had tramper, something like that because tramper is one of the common things that was paired and crossed back in the day. So a lot of tangerines could carry a possible, very, mid, very low possible hat. Um, in them so you want to look into that and see if they have any of those things so yeah there's a lot of opportunities that you could do with blood tangents and I saw that potential in them and that is why I do crossbreeding uh, with our tangents with a different type of traits um, to see how things turn out and they're turning out really well and because I have one single trait projects are way easier to keep up for me, um, especially when I'm writing down all these informations. So that will be something that I always recommend sticking with a single trait tangents if you can possibly to get one in the future or out there in the market during these time. And number five, reason why I chose blood tangent is, this is a little bit silly, but when I was scrolling down and looking at all these available blood tangent photos, there is one gecko that has got my whole attention mainly because of the cute face. You know, there are so many geckos. Now, for leopard geckos, although they look pretty similar to each other, when you zoom in their face, sometimes their face are a little bit different. Some are way cute, more cuter and some are just normal and some are just okay and things like that but the ones that i chose had just amazing cute face so that's why i decided to go for blood tension uh, projects now if you look at this amazing blood tangerines this is something that i've worked for three years to get this result i started out with the, one of the single trait blood tangerine initially paired with the tramper albino made a hat first and then paired those hat again and then paired those visual tramper 
blood penetrance again and that's how I came up with this result. The goal for this one, which I do have a bunch of different blood tangelo, but for this group, my goal is to actually get a lot of those white portion um, on their body as much as possible. The color is pretty insane. They're super adorable. They're cute. Uh, it's just something that I recommend for anyone. And there's so many opportunities out there if you start doing this uh, blood tangent project. And that's why I recommend it. Now, shout out to Sachin Tang, who was the first breeder that helped me out to start the blood tangent. Unfortunately, they're no longer working with them, so they won't be having any blood tangent anymore. So it will be pretty rare to find a single trait blood tangent uh, down in the future if things go like this more and more. If that's something that you want to try, we have a link down in the below this video where we have our websites for all the photos. So if you're interested, feel free to contact us anytime. To sum up this video, there are so many different tangerines out there. Blood tangerine is not just one uh, that I would recommend. There are other tangerines that are pretty good. But one thing that I would suggest is if you're getting into tangerines, I just want to let you know, you have to like these lines. If you don't like them, I don't recommend doing something that you don't like um, just because other people like tangerines because Everything that you do with leopard gecko is gonna be long term and sometimes in the year there could be unpredictable things could happen like males not ready to breed, females may not be ready to breed and things like that and you may end up giving it up because you don't have any passion in the tangerine projects. So you first, you must like the tangerine projects and you just have to start from somewhere but i always highly recommend getting something single trade high quality tangerines that's one thing that i will always recommend and your projects will be fired the next year when you produce hatchlings um, if you decide to go for a lower budget definitely you can try mid quality but it's gonna take more years and you have to spend more times and things like that so just be aware of all those things when you get a lower quality with the lower price price is always there for a reason and when you get those high quality geckos and get the mid quality geckos you will understand everything throughout the experience so that's pretty much what I learned and what I have been doing since the beginning and it's turning out pretty good so I hope you guys enjoy the video and if you have to choose one tangerine for this year in 2022 one of the best tangerines what would it be comment below I would love to see what everyone's favorite tangerine is for 2022 but other than that thank you for watching King is out